welcome back to Stone Magpie for another unboxing and I don't know what's in this box today so it will be a surprise for us all and the reason why is because I've got another box that looks quite similar we've got twins going on um, I'll put that aside for another time and we'll open the box and find out together what is inside there is no clues on the labelling and obviously I've removed my address details, etc. Okay, so we'll open it up and find out. Hopefully it's a diamond painting. <laughs> Looks promising. Home fun, okay. Let's see what the picture is. 5D diamond painting. Nice that it's boxed. The box isn't too squished at all. So that's good. The canvas is nicely rolled. There's a bit of a ding here, but um, otherwise doesn't look too bad at all. Some... Carefully snip this off. There's one this side as well. have a look. Okay, it comes with a foam inner, so that's kept the canvas pretty flat. You can see on the back, not much creasing at all. Okay, so let's flatten the canvas and see what we've got. Gosh, lots of colours in this one. Doesn't look like they're numbered. So I'll do a quick count in a moment. It's a 40 by 50. And there's the picture. Oh, it's an elephant. Now, the reason why I didn't know what this one was is because I was kindly gifted the kit from everydaydeals.com. And they've sent me a couple of pictures that I don't know what they are. And this is one of them. So how lovely that I've got an elephant. That is brilliant. Okay, I'm going to measure. Let's see. It's supposed to be a 40 by 50. I'm just going to do my little trick of pulling back the corners to see if I can get it to lay a bit flatter. While I measure. And then we'll have a little look at the canvas a bit closer as well once we've measured. There are a couple of folds in here. So, right, that's helped. Okay. Let's pull that back so I can measure the canvas. So this should measure 50 centimetres down. And it does. <coughs> Blunder there, sticking to my tape measure. <laughs> and it should measure 40 across. At least we know the canvas is nice and sticky. <laughs> It's pretty much there, isn't it? Just shy of a couple of millimetres, so very good. I'm impressed by that because sometimes the measurements are the measurements of the actual canvas, not the measurements of the picture. 
So, yep, it's a true 40 by 50. Let's have a little look at the symbols. They look lovely and clear. Let's go into the picture itself. Very clear symbols. It is a square diamond painting. Let's see if we can see the elephant. We want to see the elephant. Well, there's his trunk. There's his trunk with his tusks. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, let's have a closer look. Well, the canvas, I think, the quality of the symbol printing is very good. It's very clear. At this point, I do want to say that even though the kit is gifted, I am being completely honest. The integrity of my channel means everything to me. And I did tell the supplier of the diamond paintings, that's everydaydeals.com, but I would be honest in my unboxing and first impressions. So they are fully aware that if I don't like something, I will say so. What I don't want is for viewers to watch this and be unhappy with a painting if they decide to purchase it themselves. Right, we've got lots of colours here. I'm just going to do a quick count. We've got 41 colours in this picture. And let's have a little look at the toolkit. Ooh, a nice toolkit. So we've got a tray with a funnel. People will know that's my favourite sort of tray because it helps when you're putting your diamonds back into the storage. Pink wax. Nice big bit of pink wax. We have got a diamond pen with um, an applicator on the end. We've got some spare baggies and we've got some nice tweezers. And they are nice, they like the, um, I use these type of tweezers all the time. I don't know the actual name of them, but they've got a bend in the end. <laughs> Maybe it's the bend end <laughs> tweezers. <laughs> I should look up the official name, um, but they are really, really useful. I don't use them for placing the diamonds, um, but I do use them for pink, picking up any um, that are in the wrong place, just a bit squidgy out of line or whether to pick them off. So they're nice to have. I'll just pop all of those back in the bag and we'll have a look at the diamonds themselves. Here is the bag of diamonds with it looks like the list of the colours included. Let's open it up. Nice to have a sheet with the colours listed and it also tells us, now look, if I'd looked at this first it would have saved me counting them all on the canvas. <laughs> Never mind, at least I was right, 41. <laughs> we can take a closer look at the symbols. Oh, they have done that thing where, let's move that down a bit. We've got number four as seven. Hmm. Now, you know I'm not a fan of that. And they've done the same for number six, but they do look clear symbols. It just takes a little bit of thinking about when they put the numbers in the wrong number position. Um, but like I say, the symbols look very clear and easy to read. There we are. Then we've got the DMC number in the next column which is always lovely to have, ready for when you store your diamonds, your leftovers. It tells us how many packs we've got. Mm -hmm. 
So 310, we've got 34 packs. I think the next biggest is 414, so that's the number of diamonds themselves. Okay, so as we can see, it's a full square drill, 40 by 50. Let's have a look at the diamonds. Now, the bag isn't attached as such. Look, they're all quite loose. So, um, looks like they're loose by number, 413. They're all in separate little baggies. Um, I reckon there's probably 100 in each little bag. How many have we got of 413? 17 bags of a hundred. No, there must be two hundred in that bag then. Otherwise we wouldn't have enough. If there was only a hundred, we'd have one thousand seven hundred. If there's two hundred, then we're going to have uh, <laughs> three thousand four hundred. So there's two hundred. Doesn't look like there would be, but there must be. Let's have a look at the quality here. Yeah, they look clean actually. As this is a gifted kit, I don't know what the price is on the website, but um, they look very clean, very nice. Let's have a look at three tens. And now these are a little bit dustier, you can see that here. So that might take just a little bit of sorting out. Um, I can see some diamonds have little nobules on them. So hopefully there's lots um, of spares so that we can sort it out as we go along. Now this packet is much better than that one. I can't see any dust in this one. These are bigger packets. So yeah, they're better. I would start with these bigger ones. Let's have a look at 169. Yep, nice and clean. I can't at the moment see any problems with those. Yeah, so I think this is. Oh, let's have a bright colour. Let's have a look at that. That's pretty colour isn't it and they do look clean nice and sparkly so I think they're good quality they're not the best I've seen and they're not the worst I've seen they're pretty good I would say um, I would say better than good <laughs> so, if that helps I think this would be an enjoyable kit to do I really do Lots of nice colours in these. Yep, I'm impressed by this. Really happy. Yep, now that's the printing, so yeah, that's fine. I think it was only really that packet of three tens that I saw earlier that has any dusty problems. You might not even have to use those depending on how generous they've been with the drills. Now something to also let you know is everydaydeals.com have very kindly given my viewers a discount code. So how amazing is that? If you would like to order from them, you can have 10% discount site-wide if you use the code Stone Magpie. So there we are. Um, I think it might be a one use only code. So make sure you have a good look around their site before you put the discount code in. Make sure you can get everything that you would want from them. But that's fantastic. So we like a good discount code. There we go. And if you do order from them, do let me know what you think. I am impressed by these, I have to say. I was a bit worried when I saw the little 310 bags. 
but I am worried no longer. Very lovely. And it's an elephant. Ah, oh, you know how I feel about my elephants. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Do continue your own diamond painting and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.